Well, here at home, Democratic presidential candidates are vying for votes, but banding together as race becomes a key issue in this campaign. ABC's Rachel Scott is in Chicago, where several candidates are courting African-American voters at the Rainbow Push Coalition Convention and defending Senator Kamala Harris from a new attack on her background. Rachel, good morning. Good morning, Eva. Senator Harris identifies as black. She graduated from a historically black university and is a member of the first black Greek sorority. But her racial identity is being called into question. And now the 2020 Democratic candidates are putting politics aside to back her up. This morning, the pack of Democratic candidates united to defend one of their own after online attacks questioned the racial identity of Senator Kamala Harris. One person tweeting, Kamala Harris is not an American black. She is half Indian and half Jamaican. I'm so sick of people robbing American blacks like myself of our history. The tweet reportedly gaining attention after the New York Times reports Donald Trump Jr. shared it, later deleting it. Part of the strength of our nation. These attacks on Harris claim she is not African American and that her ancestors didn't experience U.S. slavery. Harris, born to immigrant parents from Jamaica and India, identifies as black. This controversy over her racial identity reminiscent of the birtherism debate, which falsely claimed President Obama was not born in the United States. Harris's campaign tells ABC News those attacks didn't work then and they won't work now. Senator Elizabeth Warren, fresh off of making her pitch to a black church on the south side of Chicago. We are in a fight for the very soul of our nation. Stepped in as the first candidate to defend Harris, calling the accusations racist and ugly. Joe Biden labeled the attacks disgusting just after Harris challenged his civil rights record on the debate stage. You also worked with them to oppose busing. An unlikely source cutting Biden some slack. I think she was given too much credit for what she did. It wasn't that outstanding. And I think probably he was hit harder than he should have been hit, Biden. And back in South Bend, racial tensions prompted Mayor Pete Buttigieg to step off the trail after the fatal shooting of a black man by a white police officer. Buttigieg back in town for a peace walk on the same day as the funeral for that man. Eric Logan. Well, this is my home, but also these issues can't be separated. Uh, the challenge we face here in South Bend is symptomatic of a national challenge. And Mayor Pete Buttigieg will be back on the campaign trail on Tuesday, stopping right here in Chicago to appear before Jesse Jackson's Rainbow Push Convention. Wit. Rachel Scott for us in Chicago. Thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.